Well hello everybody, welcome back one and all to my channel, it's Richard McIntyre here and today is Sunday the 24th of February. It's been an absolute amazing day, we've had temperatures uh, up to 13. Yesterday was Saturday, as you can as normally follow, Saturday follows Sunday, um, and it was 16 degrees in this very workshop. So welcome back to Richard's workshop. My name is Richard McIntyre. Thank you all, everyone, for your comments um, last week on my on my vlog. Um, I was really encouraged by some of the comments there, and uh, everyone enjoyed the laughing policeman um, record that I played. And um, so I'm going to repeat something today. I've got some loads of stuff to talk to you about. So sit back in your armchair or wherever you are and enjoy my show. And uh, don't forget, if you're um, at all interested in my videos, do, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell. This video is sponsored by none other than Richard's Workshop. Just a homage to Ian Seabrook from Hubnub. I don't know whether many of you actually managed to uh, switch down to the comments from last week and uh, click on the link and uh, see what you think about those um, video channels I watch. Um, and we'll probably do some more coming up. I'd also be interested to know if you would like me to do reviews of DVDs. I quite often get special deals from Waitrose, which is uh, uh, my main supermarket here in Maidstone that I go shopping for. And in, in Waitrose they do selections. Um, I think the, the latest one I picked up uh, today was um, I think it was called First First Man. It was about the about Neil Armstrong's um, journey to the moon uh, with Claire Foy. But there's been loads of others that I've been collecting. And then I, what I tend to do is I take them to the office and let my team, uh, friends of the elderly, um, uh, borrow them and then uh, give them back to me. Because I, I, once you watch them once, you normally want to um, keep them for a while. So I just spread the love, as it were. But um, without further ado, I was really lucky yesterday in the, at my local charity shop, there just happened to be a group of 78 RPM 10 and 12 inch records. And um, I went through them twice and uh, in the end, um, because there were 15 of them, I actually made the um, lady who was running my local Bernardo's an offer and uh, she accepted it. So 10 records, sorry, 15 records for £10, which I thought was quite reasonable. And I'm gonna share some real gems with you that I found. Uh, I asked where they'd come from, and apparently an elderly lady had brought them in um, last week, so they hadn't been in the shop very long. Luckily, this shop doesn't stick those horrible, horrible um, labels on the inside um, of the label of the RPM uh, 78s, which a lot of charity shops do, and I end up having to try to get those off, and it destroys the inner labels, and they haven't done those. Some of the covers on these records, which I'll show you shortly, You'd think they come straight out of the record shop or the factory. They're in mint condition, and some of the tunes there are really very, very nice. So I'm going to play you one of those, like I did last time. Several people have said how nice they thought um, the idea was about using the GoPro, and also the uh, I'm using the iPhone today again, which I think works quite well for me, rather than having the GoPro and then switch. Um, somebody said that they thought the volume on the uh, Columbia 118 was a bit low. I've had a look at that and I think what it was, it's a sound box, it's the number four sound box I'm using there from HMV um, and I think probably the gasket needs changing so I think it was a bit tight. I've changed it and I've played it a few times this afternoon when I've been doing some work on the Decca 130 that I'm also going to chat to you about and I think things are a lot better. So, um, But before then I just wanted to make a sort of give a shout out really to Memory Lane. You probably, some of you know that I'm an avid fan of Memory Lane. Memory Lane is the uh, society that keeps alive the memory of Val Boley, but we do an awful lot more than that. And this year coming up, 2019, we've got some events happening in London. Uh, the El Boley Walk or the London Walk we've got coming up, and I'll talk to you about that in a second, but also we always have an event at the Artist Club in London, just up from Trafalgar, and we normally have a great event there. It's in the basement um, of the Phoenix uh, Theatre and really a great venue and it always is oversubscribed. We always have too many people and can't get everybody in. So um, I'm hoping to take quite a few people of my friends this year. Uh, even on the walk I've got two friends of mine coming along 
Tom and Ming who are really interested in this sort of music so we'll be swelling the numbers and I've got their tickets for me but I'll tell you about that in a second but the Memory Lane magazine you can go to um, www.memorylane.org.uk and it only costs you £15 a year and there's just so much information if you're interested in the 1920s right the way through to the 1940s dance band music and I mean proper dance band music uh, there are we do include swing music in there um, then this is the mag this is a society for you and Ray Pallet who's been running that society for many years really does an amazing job and um, there's lots of my YouTube um, uh, fans are on there lots of channels there there's Peter Wallace who runs his own uh, channel there and Jonathan Holmes also who also works for BBC Bristol who's currently working at BBC main office in London um, at the moment to Portland Place at the moment and he's he's written in here so in this in this month's um, uh, spring edition and it comes out um, four times a year uh, this we've got new CDs they always do an amazing um, uh, write-up about new CDs and Jonathan is one of those contributors this time along with Barry McKenna Arnold uh, Patience and Peter Wallace and uh, uh, or Peter Wells, sorry, not Peter Wallace, but Peter Wallace does an article in the magazine, but I'll come to that later. And they do an amazing um, and uh, amazing piece in there about that. So that's one thing I'd mention. The second one, uh, the second tab I've put in here is regarding, uh, where are we, Henry Hall. Henry Hall, as you probably know, dance band, BBC dance band. Henry Hall, and Peter Wallace is doing part two of this. And Hall marks 1933 to 1934. Certainly worth a really good read. Um, and a nice picture of Henry Hall there. Uh, the, th the third item in here that I just thought I'd uh, give a shout out to, because I'm really super stoked about these, they're really great, uh, and that's something else I'm very fond of. No, as you know from my previous, you follow of mine, my previous videos, I've been, I, I really love Noel Coward and his music, and of course he was, he had a great affection with Gertrude Lawrence, and they, I've got some music of theirs on 78 and on 10 inch LP, as well as um, cassette and uh, would you believe on CD? So, so um, Barry McCann is doing a really good uh, article on that this particular month called "The Songs of Noel Coward." It actually gives him also a little bit about about his history, where he was born, and the things he's he did in his life. So that's a really good read. I'm about halfway through reading that article. Um, the next one I thought I'd just uh, tell you about. Where are we here? is about Alex Mendham. Now Alex Mendham, he runs a dance band, a very successful dance band at the Savoy Hotel and uh, particularly the music around the 1920s and 1930s. So you may have seen Alex, uh, he does some short videos and uh, I've never seen his band live but um, as I have done the uh, Piccadilly Dance Orchestra but Alex's band is very very good. I've seen it on you know as I say on clips on YouTube so, so I just thought I'd give you a shout out really and what I'll do is I'll put a picture uh, at the beginning of this or somewhere during this uh, broadcast so that you could actually see that and a link to memory lane but if but we'd love to see you so do come along and the um, this week the memory lane guided walk this this week this year shall I say the memory lane guided walk the elbow is London is actually on Saturday the 11th of May um, um, 11 o'clock at the Strand so if you want to come along you have to get tickets it's by ticket only but you'll have a really good day and we walk around all the places where um, the big dance bands were playing in the uh, sort of 20s and 30s up right up to the 40s and actually what El Boli was doing as well so I've already got my bits and pieces in the envelopes and for my two friends Ming and Tom who are coming with me this year so having a really good walk around London so that's just a little shout out to um, Memory Lane and uh, all we're doing there and the walk that we're doing. So if you're interested, as I say, I'll put the link in the comments below so that you can um, you can join up and we look forward to that. Um, I've been doing some work on the um, Deca 130 and um, so I thought I'd just talk to you about that. But before then, uh, I've got a couple of LPs I was going to share with you. Um, these came from, would you believe, the same charity shop that I, I probably a couple of weeks ago now, and I've been playing them in the in the office in the main house. So one is Greece, and uh, this is quite a nice record. It's got plenty of um, Greek type music, 
and it's by Maria Litz and the Bulowski Band. So, reminds me a lot of Nina Mascora and, you know, the, the, the White Rose of Greece. I think there's a little bit of a hint in there. I don't actually see that actually as, um, no, Never on a Sunday, which was a quite a popular tune. This record probably dates, probably from the sort of, uh, it's a flip back type of folder on here. So probably the 50s, I would have thought. And, um, but uh, quite a nice, quite a nice record there. So I really like that one. The other one's a classical flavour. It's the J.S. Bach Concertos Brandenburgs. And this poor thing has been, as you can see, been around a while. Unfortunately, it's got um, torn. Uh, both of these records, by the way, were in the box outside, and I didn't have to pay for them. I think they were just fine trying to get somebody to take them. This one, the Brandenburg Concerto, is uh, is uh, is by who's it conducting? Oh, it's in French, so I can't even, and I can't read French, so I can't tell you. Uh, but it's the um, it's the orchestra of Stuttgart, so. Um, and um, it's by Karl Mullincher. Here we go, I probably that pronounced that better than I can. So another good record there. All the bits have gone in the bin. I don't think we'll do that. Excuse me a second while I just drop that down there. Right, so um, let's see my list. I've got my list to talk to you about today. Uh, so there we go, said about those things, yes. So what's next? Yes, let's, let's have a cup of tea. No, I haven't got any tea, it's all gone. Um, let's look at the records. So, the 15 records I've got, I'll just grab one of those off the 118. There we go. This record is on Columbia, and it's uh, it's sung by Patricia Burke. Now, I don't know Patricia Burke. Some of you may know Patricia Burke, but she's got an amazing voice. I'll tell you that for nothing. Never Say Goodbye from the Lisbon Story. And I think it's really nice. I'm going to play that one to you, so for you at the end. And um, the other side is Someday We Shall Meet Again and Follow the Drum. It's uh, the second one again. And uh, she speaks on there. It's obviously from the from a film. So she does a bit of the film bit first, you know, the, the actual before she leads into her song, which I think is quite nice, actually. So I'm going to play that to you. Never Say Goodbye is the number we'll be playing. So on there. Um, I just grab the others carefully. So um, some real gems here. Right, Love's Garden of Roses by Anne Ziegler and Webster Booth. I'm a great fan, actually. I've become a great fan, I suppose, of Webster Booth and Anne Ziegler. And this is a particularly nice record. Um, this one's from uh, well, it's not from anywhere actually. It's by Warwick ba um, Bathwaite, actually, who's written that tick number. Um, Will You Remember is by, on the B side, or the A side, I'm not sure whether that's A or B, that one. Uh, seven, seven, so no, they're both the same number. So this is from the film Maytime, that one, that's, that's a very nice song as well. Uh, let's find a place to put these down safely, so I don't, uh, uh, right, just a second. There we go. Right, I didn't plan this particularly well. Right, these are some... 12 inch records, these are quite nice. This is The King's Rhapsody by with Vanessa Lee. Now, I'm a great fan of Vanessa Lee, um, and uh, particularly Noel Coward. I follow no, uh, not Noel Coward, Ivan Novello. I like Noel Coward as well. Um, so, this is a particularly nice number, and um, Vanessa Lee sings really well on this. The, the other side is um, a part five Someday My Heart Will Awake. Unfortunately, I had I noticed when I got this home, it's got a bit of a chip on the corner there. But so I've had to sort of come in a bit when I play that. But as you can see, if I just, it's got quite a good shine on this. So it's obviously been well looked after, as I say, by the lady that brought in the uh, records to the charity shop. So that's that one. Uh, where are we? Right, the next one, I think it's an orchestral one. Yes, this one is um, the Dancing Years Selection Part One and Two. And it's by the Drury Lane Theatre Orchestra. So, pity there's not any singing on this, but it's, it's all nice all the same. Um, and again, unfortunately, it's got a bit of a chip at the corner there. I think these must have been dropped. One of the records that I did pick up there, I did say to the, to the lady who was running the shop, it was completely smashed. Very sad, but that's the unfortunate shellac sadness that way. Um, then, the, and the covers of these are really good as well. This one is um, We'll Gather Lilacs. So, and this record is S. Farmer and Co. I just love the covers on these, these older records, actually. 
and Luton Music Centre. So obviously Luton, just up the road from where we are in Maidstone, so not too far up the M25. Wellington Street, George Street, Luton, opposite the Town Hall. So it's probably, there might even be somewhere still there like that. We'll gather lilacs and um, and it's uh, it's by Marie Bur Burton and Olive Gilbert are singing on this one. So, um, and on the on the B side, it's the the High Woman Love, which I'd never heard before. It's a very nice song all the same, on the Decca label. On HMV, again from the same music shop, I've got Peter Dawson singing Room, Room for the Factation, Factusham, I think you pronounce that, um, and um, the Barbara Savelle song. So, there used to be um, a cartoon when I was younger <laughs> of... Uh, this um, this but using this particular song where the the dog had all these rabbits up his arm you know and uh, I always associate that with that particular cartoon the B side is Sirs your toast uh, from Bizet a Carmen Bizet and again by Peter Dawson great fan of Peter Dawson I've got some of his records really lovely and uh, great singer as a bass baritone very good this cover I thought was amazing I don't know if it, you probably can't, you might be able to see it, pick it out, but it looks like some sort of crocodile skin on here. And there were several of these. The other ones were very classical, so I didn't touch those. But this one is Cavalcade Selection 1 by uh, Dorby Summers Band with vocal effects. I like the vocal effects, not vocal refrain, vocal effects. And there's a lady singing on here. So you've got several. The Queen's, uh, the Queen, uh, is it uh, Soldiers of the Queen, uh, Goodbye Dolly, Grey, Absent Minded, and uh, and um, and there's loads of other bits on here and the B side is the same well part two as they called them in those days but great record all the same might play that sometime actually in the future on 12 inch so um, I think that's about all really on those or have I got some more here no no I've got some more these are the 10 inch ones again very nice covers uh, Woodyer and Sons Low, Lowfield Street, Dartford these have come from. So again, within the Kent area. Um, if, and So we've got uh, See Me Dance, the Polka, by the Mayfair Dance Orchestra. Very, very nice. And the other side is uh, Valletta, again, by the D Mayfair Dance Orchestra. I'm not sure which is the A side and the B side on here, but they're very nice all the same. Uh, the next one is the English Rose uh, from... Uh, Marie England, Webster Booth, again another Webster Booth, lovely record this, and uh, the fairy song on the other side from the, the Immortal Hour, very very nice, another one that goes, so a little gems there. It's amazing how you find these little gems, sometimes I've I've gone through to record shops and they, and years ago, 78s would be prolific, now you have trouble finding them unless they're on eBay, and I did say to the lady there, you've really got some really good stuff here today. Come Out Vienna by the Billy Reed and the London Piano or, 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 or um, Accordion Band. Let's get my, get my teeth in. And Throw Open Your Window, again by uh, Billy Reed and the London Accordion Band. Very, very nice, that one. I put that into one of my white covers because it hadn't got a cover for it. Uh, the Holy City Part 1 by the Kentucky Minstrels. I haven't played this yet. This is a more religious one. And The Holy City Part 2, uh, again by the same people, but again in the Farmer & Co label. Very, very nice and uh, really, really good. And on the dark red uh, label for HMV, which which um, used to be the highest quality of shellac and recordings. That's, you know, if you know your labels, you know that. Um, on a Decca label, uh, Little Wi Sir William and um, by Peter Piers and also... Um, the Sally, Sally Gardens again by Peter Pears, um, Benjamin Britten's partner and um, very very nice indeed so um, uh, worth getting and then two Richard Tolber records which I found fascinating because they've got uh, Beneath Thy Window which is quite a famous one by, by Richard Tolber I've got quite a few of his and I've got some 10 inch and cassettes of his and uh, The Dove uh, by Richard Tolber sung in English, both are sung in English. I've got some of his German singing as well, but uh, he has got quite an, well, I think quite a unique voice actually as well. This one, If You Are In Love, and it's by Nancy Brown with Richard Talbot. So it's quite nice to have a duet actually. And there's a trio on the B side or the A side, 
and that's um, there are angels outside heaven um, from old Chelsea this is called so Carol Lynn Nancy Brown and Richard Tolber with the orchestra conducted by Serge Karish I think you pronounce that so it's a real real gems there real gems to um, to listen to and I've been playing those this afternoon while I've been um, doing some work out here so I'm going to turn the camera around and to do that because I've got my iPhone facing me so I can see exactly where I, what I'm looking like in the in the camera I need to do that so I'm just going to take a break but we'll be I'll see you back I'll be back with you very shortly take care well welcome back everybody um, so I've now turned the camera around a bit so that you can see what's on the bench just taking a cup of tea here from my poppy mug. Right, so I've been doing some work on the Decca 130. You may have remembered um, I started this project uh, paying purchase this machine from uh, a gentleman whose mother was very much into music. And um, I got, well, I saw a video of a Decca 130 and thought what amazing sound that the machine had and, and for a portable as well. So I managed to find this one, and um, uh, I've already told you this story, but uh, if you haven't been following this, the, the sort of story really, so I suppose this is part, this is part three really in some ways. Um, the gentleman said he would send it to me, but it would cost a bit, but I, which I thought was still worth the effort. So I paid, the, paid for its transportation and it arrived duly. Unfortunately, it has suffered badly with a bit of woodworm. And you can see that evidence there uh, with the case here. But I've managed to um, seal a lot of the holes on the reverse side, on the underside of the case. And um, so, um, uh, there we go. So if I just turn this over, you can probably see there, you might be able to see some there, where the holes were, I've blocked them all in. Um, I'm in the middle of doing a couple of things. I've um, changed the, on the motor side, on the motor board, I've changed the, um, um, call them washers really the uh, I suppose they're uh, bushes really the, the rubber bushes that um, uh, suspend the motor from the motor board this motor board it, uh, is made of an alloy and um, and uh, quite uh, quite amazing really it's not metal it's um, made of uh, I can't remember now what it's made of but I'm having a bit of a memory loss this afternoon um, but anyway I've put some new washers in there and um, the washers I, or the bare, the bushes, the bushes, I suppose are what they're really called, are really, all they are, are actually half inch tap washers. That's why I'm saying washers. Um, and I've, I've done this a few times and they really work well because they're exactly the same size as these ones. These have really gone very, very hard and brittle. So they wouldn't really be effective. So it's worth doing that. Um, and uh, they're, they're basically half inch tap washers. I've got the, got the packet that are kicking around somewhere because I need to get some new ones um, so I've done that and um, I've uh, cleaned off the braking system here uh, there we go and uh, cleaned all that off so that this braking system is quite unique you actually and I'll show you when we get the whole thing back together but you actually uh, push depress this lever here and then you bring the arm over to the out the uh, inside the record and then to the outside that depress it and depress it outside and then inside and then what happens as it goes across it act the brake is triggered and the whole thing then um, by here and then it um, st stops the turntable basically so it's quite uh, if I explain that correctly quite a unique piece of equipment one of the very early I suppose Decker bits if you remember what my um, Decker 73 cabinet machine is like in the house, it has a similar type of braking system, um, but um, you know, and uh, obviously there was a, there was a sort of experimental period going on. HMV, of course, had their own braking systems to stop on their portable machines, but I think this is quite unique. This one, and uh, you know, um, works very well actually. I had it working before, um, so. Um, nickel plate this is what this is this is a nickel plate uh, motor board all steel and then you have the needle box that comes out the side here so i've cleaned off and there were a range of there was a range of needles in there at the time these ones in here where are we there we go quite different different sizes in there, so i'll take those out um so on that basis so so this afternoon what i've done 
as I've cleaned it all off with boot polish or shoe polish, um, unfortunately, some of the areas, because it was in a loft, they're drying out, and so I've had to uh, stick back with some boss stick um, some of the edging on here. And the Rexon also, this is the inside of the lid, that was coming off, you can see here. If I just do there, where are we? Look, I'm gonna have to stick that down. So again, using some boss stick just to re it. So I've clamped it this afternoon uh, with a piece of wood just to keep it in a, and a clamp there. And uh, so hopefully that will, will do the trick. I've still got some bits to do. These are, this is the piano hinge from the back and that's the mechanism. This is the mechanism for the, um, the, the lid to open, open the mechanism there, so I'll be doing that. Um, so, yeah, so I think that's that's about it really um, for the uh, Decker 130 slow progression, um, as the weather's been so lovely. It's, as I say, 13 degrees. I mean, it was so warm yesterday that um, what I did, I actually uh, went out in my uh, one two spider one two four four Fiat with the top down just to give her a bit of a blast and had a really really great afternoon out uh, around the around the streets where I live and uh, what I will do in the summer is I think I'll make a video of that car because everyone uh, seems to be quite interested in that and that uh, and uh, so um, might be quite do on my car story but anyway that's just all this afternoon I don't think I've forgotten anything um, do subscribe I look forward to your comments and uh, I'll obviously see you on the next one. Take care. Never